first of all, let me ask how many people play C6. How many want to play C6? <laughs> okay, my people. <laughs> all right. Um, the C6 is the easiest neck to learn. Yeah. No, no, it is. And now I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. L look at the E9. What happened? I mean, chord chordally. I didn't change keys. Okay. Listen to C6. Now I'm, I've got a four chord, no pedals. Look, ma. And then, uh, and then I've got a minor, six minor. There's my A pedal. And so, so all you got to learn, and uh, the way I teach neck is first. That's first. The first thing I tackle is understanding what the tuning is. So you just made your triad, same as the E9. You don't have a, you don't have a, this note. But I know that Jerry Bird, uh, I believe, came up with the C6 tuning. But then they put this note in here. Because all the, all the intervals of a C major are a four major nine. Okay, so then on a C6, now wh why the C6 is easier? When you study music, there's, there's a minor chord and there's a major chord. And so then you go, okay, well, where's the minor? So then you flatten your third. Now you, I've got minors there. I've got a, a one minor or I've got a, I've got a six minor. So now this is cool. Now if I do a minor and then I put a six in the bottom and then if I, if I put the four, now I've got a four dominant nine. So once you just, it's like you got to take about two weeks and just remember, memorize what the tuning does. So all of my notes work all of a sudden. Okay, I can, uh, I can go, well, what? So I can approach it, you know. That's just the first. Now I'm getting melodies. Same pattern. It's, I'm just going down this way. You're going to hear this all weekend. You're going to hear guys playing because it's easy. And, you, you know, it's not as easy on E9 because you got to really start doing because it's one chord. You got to find pedals that do this, and then I got to lower my I got to lower my E's, and I got to raise my E's or whatever to get these notes. Where where a lot of the notes, a lot of the notes you want to play, I should say, are within the tuning. And then you got you lower you, your minor thirds, and then that just makes. And it's a universal tuning, by the way. And most people don't. Lloyd Green. You know, the, if you play country on it, if that's what you want to do, you start thinking country. The C6 is like, okay, you've got your root, then you got your third, you've got your minor third, you got, when you study music, you go, that's the way I was taught, I was taught what a major triad is, it's a one, three, five in intervals, then a minor is a one flat three, a diminished is a one th flat three, flat five, so I go, it's, now you, you don't make it diminished that way on, on this neck, you know, you have to go in another position and then <laughs> release, listen to this, you don't, you don't, harder and but on the C6 and and almost again you can't hit a wrong note if you're in that chord. that's chalker he would he loved doing it and buddy image go It's just the top grouping of a diminished chord. You're going, what, what is that? It's just knowing 
you know, that, that you're free. Like, you, I can hit... by hitting that D. I can actually hit all the strings.